Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it's about time we break down my own bars. Roll it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Ch Can y'all hear the ice cream man? Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Adiano the Third. Y'all guys, third family. If you're new here and you're not subscribed and you like what you see at the end of the video, consider subscribing, bottom right hand corner. Now, I put out an original verse which started as a poem originally, and I was just writing, and then I ended up, I was like, you know what? They've been asking me to for, for a verse, so why don't I just why don't I just turn this poem into a verse? And much to my chagrin, hella people, basically everybody like liked it. It was obviously very rough. It was one take. I wasn't able to like stop. I wasn't able to stop and like edit it together so you can take the breaths out like you would normally do in a studio but you got the general gist and I think right now it has 99.7 like like to dislike ratio and I was not expecting that to be honest so y'all wanted me to break it down here we are follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at the third earnest just like the channel links are down in the description below and we got me redeemed fate let's get it hey y'all uh, what was that one thing that uh super hot fire said I'm not a rapper. <laughs> For those that don't know, uh, you can you can literally YouTube super hot fire like super hot and fire. I think is F I Y A. It's just, it was like it's like one of the original memes from way back in the day. And throughout the entire thing, he says, "I'm not a rapper." <laughs> Partially based on a true story, I would say, but a lot of it has been embellished in order to make the song sound better. Not every lyricist, not every songwriter is gonna write exactly about the life. They, they try to make it sound emotionally impactful. So that's basically what I did right here. I was in love a few years ago, but I let it slip. Mistakes were made that to this day, it seems I can't forget. Some painful lessons that I learned as I watched you move on and watched you take my place who could never do wrong and broken hearts are so right there, like right before the broken hearts are for two, when he says, I like some painful lessons that I learned as I watched you move on. Like I wrote that because of the way that like social media is these days. Like whenever you break up with somebody, it's not like you just cut ties and then you don't ever see them again. Like you, you can literally see their entire life without you unfold in front of you and watch this dude, the, the dude that replaced me, watch him and how he seems to like make you happy and how he can never do any wrong. Like in your eyes, in your eyes, he's perfect. And that used to be me, you know, basically. And watch do take my place who could never do wrong and broken hearts are for two when you carry them both that's a burden that i live with and i carry it close because i so that line right there that was when i decided that i wanted to turn it into a rap because i are into a verse i was like yo that broken hearts are for two and you carry them both like that that's a fucking bar when i wrote that i was like oh shit but what i meant and you can kind of get the gist as the bars go on like the broken hearts are for two normally it's my heart and your heart but the dude that could do no wrong he broke your heart as well so now you have two broken hearts so broken hearts are for two and you carry them both and that's a burden that i live with and i carry it close because of the fact that i put us in the position where we had to break up where i hurt you that put you in the second position to get hurt again so technically there's three broken hearts that i caused them all so that i carry that burden close because that's my burden to carry and in the delivery i put the pause and the cadence when it's broken hearts for two when you carry them both I put that there so that way you can get like the you and I reference where it, like you and I is equals us. But broken hearts are for two and you carry them both. And that's a burden that I live with and I carry it close. That's what I was trying to convey with the you and I with the break in the the break in the delivery. The burden that I live with and I carry it close. Cause I caused our downfall and he caused the other. But you wouldn't even got to him if I had been the lover and the friend. And in the end, I gave you everything I promised. If I was only stronger, we could have avoided all this. My heart to defect the product, but the packaging is flawless. I'll Side, clean and polished inside md and tarnished from yo so that that like my heart's a defective product like because like i said right, right after that from aim from anger and emotion and years of manipulation like my heart is not the is not the wholesome heart that it used to be it, it's been jaded i i didn't let the person see that originally like i seemed like i was the knight in shining armor i like i was mr perfect but really deep down i was far from it you don't want to present that burden you don't want to present that darker side to you so so you present it in like a packaging that's perfect and flawless like an inside it's empty and tarnished from being jaded from all these years from past relationships and like i said she wouldn't even got to the next one had i had i kept the promises that i made that i would have been the friend that i would have been the confidant that i could have just been stronger than i was like during that time if i was only stronger we could have avoided all this that drawn out a sound that that was the rhyme scheme that i was trying to go for if i could have only been stronger we could have avoided all this my heart's a defective product and i package it so flawless outside clean and polished inside empty and tarnished like that was the rhyme 
scheme right there that I was trying to that I was trying to slant rhyme for some of those words. Outside, clean and polished. Inside, empty and tarnished from anger and emotion and years of manipulation. So many skeletons, I moved it from the closet to the basement and buried my burdens. Worry, too nervous to try to face it. Infected with abuse, and I knew it was contagious, but I made sure that you were oblivious to it all. Yo, see, like right there as well. Like, I, yo, some of these are bars. Like, some of these are bars, bars, at least in my personal eyes. My heart's been tarnished from anger, from past relationships, emotional, like, turmoil from past relationships, toxicity, and just, just the general manipulative, like, tactics that the last person used. So my heart had been jaded and tarnished from years of manipulation. So many skeletons that I hid in my closet, I had to, like, I had to take them out. I was running out of space, moved them to the basement, and buried my burdens, worried, too nervous to try to face it. Like, the internal rhyme right there and then face it basement but like buried my burdens in the basement because basement is below ground and my mind and my heart have been infected with like toxic abuse i had an infection from the toxicity of past relationships and that shit is contagious i got it from the past person who got it from the past person and now you got it because of me but i i made sure that you were oblivious that that was even where my mind space was i made sure that you were oblivious to all of that so like the knight in shining armor but that armor was flawed like the armor shiny but it but like it's been it's been through a lot of wear and tear it's been through battles of past relationships so I like that was the perfect image that I presented but the armor was failing deep down so I couldn't be that protection from the world that I needed to be for the person that I loved and again a lot of this is just like very extra this might not exactly be what happened but it but it sounds better whenever the, with the more emotional it gets you know you're not in shining armor but that armor was flawed a perfect image I presented but resentment was inside intentions misaligned filled with malignant lies you see pain is the only thing that I've ever known and cuz of it I'm reaping seeds I should have never sown so yo, pain is the only thing that I've ever known and because of that pain, I like I was reaping seeds, like I was reaping seeds of you leaving. Like like I that was eventually going to be the outcome because of the pain that was caused prior. That pain sowed the seeds and I was reaping seeds I should have never sown and if I was just stronger, I would have never put those seeds on the ground. And again, a perfect image I presented, like I presented this perfect like this perfect being, presented this perfect man that you thought could do no wrong, but really resentment from past relationships was inside. My intentions were missing line like I had good intentions but they weren't but by that I didn't have the right compass to point them in the correct direction the intentions were filled with malignant lies and malignant lie malignant again going back to like a disease which was like the contagious nature that I had in the past bar a malignant tumor is one that's cancerous that will eventually kill so the lies that I told and the white lies that I told myself and that I hid from the person they were eventually going to become malignant lies because that's what led to the demise you know intentions misaligned filled with malignant lies you see pain is the only thing that I've ever known and cuz of it I'm reaping seeds I should have never sown cuz I was trampled on and scarred from a life before you my soul was lost I paid a cost that I couldn't afford to now I'm the phantom behind a man see like my, I was trampled I was lost from a life before you again it's like not an excuse but like literally all those past transgressions all those things that I had done incorrectly or relationships that were very toxic that were weighing on my soul that were burdening my mind like I was never in the correct position to actually like have the relationship that I wanted with you. I wanted, I was hoping that I could, that I could look past all of that and that you would help me look past all of that. But that those are burdens that I have to fix on my own. That's not something that someone can come in and, and like be the knight in shining armor for me. And again, reaping seeds I should have never sown. I was paying a cost that was too expensive. Like losing you was the cost of the past relationships that I allowed to creep in into the current one. It was a cost that I couldn't afford to lose because you could have been the one. And so I, and I lost that, you know? You, my soul was lost. I paid a cost that I couldn't afford to. Now I'm the phantom behind a mask at the opera, it seems. Good guy, trouble past, cost him the girl of his dreams. And I live in constant flashbacks to better days. To a love that was beautiful and floated in unfettered ways. I hear that loneliness. Unfettered ways is like it flows smooth. Like unfettered means like it's like there's no, there's no, there's no turmoil. There's no turbulence that's stopping something from flowing smoothly. That's what unfettered means. And that whole Phantom of the Opera, like subject matter bars right there, that's like, that was, to me, that was the hardest shit when I wrote it. I, I think I ended up writing harder shit on this verse, but yo, and if you've never seen Phantom of the Opera, you don't, you might not get the bar. When I said it seems like I'm the Phantom behind the mask at the opera, it seems. Good guy, troubled past, who lost the girl of his dreams. Like the whole play is basically the, basically the Phantom trying to, trying to lure and seduce the main female lead character, but he has like a very turbulent past. He has 
trust issues. He has he has control issues. And that girl was the girl he wanted for his lifetime. So he was a good guy with a troubled past that and that that led to him losing the girl of his dreams. And then the next bar where I say I live in a constant flashback to better days. Like to me, that one is the hardest bar out of the whole Phantom of the Opera theme because basically the the entire play Phantom of the Opera is one long fat flashback. The play starts that they're at an auction for the failed opera house and then they hear the little he hears the little monkey with that like goes like that with the symbols and then that starts the whole flashback of the play so when i say i'm the phantom behind the mask at the opera it seems good guy troubled past lost the girl of his dreams that lives in constant flashback to better days because that's what the play is it's one big flashback it's that I, to me that's one of the dopest bars in the in the verse to a love that was beautiful and floating in unfettered ways i hear that loneliness is good for the soul and i'd have to agree i lost my purpose in his search and found the answers in me i battled demons went to war with what was damaging me i see the light and no longer blinded by past within me i'm a better man this is like where the song takes a turn or this is where the this is where the verse takes a turn because before it was like talking about all of my issues that i had in the past now we're at the point where we're at flashbacks and after she's left like after she's left i had no other option other than to face burdens of the past and the saying does say that loneliness is good for the soul because it allows you to find who you are without without any kind of without any kind of distraction without any kind of disguise on so loneliness is good for the soul i'd have to agree because i lost my purpose like a long ass time ago but now that you left and I'm alone I lost my purpose and in searching for myself I found the answers in me like I didn't need any kind of external I didn't need any kind of external stimulus or distraction everything that I needed to heal was in myself the whole time and all I had to do to heal was just to fight the demons and, and go to battle and go to war with everything that was that was hurting me so I battled the demons I went to war with what was damaging me and after that I came out I saw the light I'm no longer blinded by the past within me, like the blinded sight reference. Like I was blinded and left in the dark for anything that could have ever happened, not just her, like anybody else that might've came along, it eventually probably would have led down that same path to us splitting up. So I was blinded by the fact that I couldn't see, I couldn't see what real love and happiness was like. But after fighting the internal demons, I saw the light and I was no longer blinded. And I like that delivery right there from when we switched from the, uh, from like the broken past. And then now we're trying to, we're trying to find our confidence again, like, like a, starts you can hear the the flow gets a little more confident as well they say that loneliness is good for the soul and i'd have to agree like that offbeat rhythm pattern loneliness is good for the soul and i'd have to agree i lost my purpose and in search and found the answers in me i battled demons went to war with what was damaging me that cadence was the same one from from the very beginning when broken hearts are for two and you carried them both that's a burden that i live with and i carry it close you know i'm a better man than i used to be this feeling here is new to me i grew but not for you it's something i had to do for me and truthfully it's unusual hard to deny what you conjure and now i got nothing but time to sit back and wonder if redemption's on your mind when you think about me and then that part right there like it, i wrote that because it's something that a lot of people need to realize about about specific relationships like you you can't change for somebody else you're never you're never going to change long term like you'll change short term you'll change short term because that's what like you're you're in the fear of the moment of losing the person that you love so you'll change short term but if that person stays like eventually you you might end up going back to who you were so you need to change for yourself once you change for yourself then it doesn't then then we're not being influenced by external sources we're changing because I know that I need to change. So now I'm a better man than I used to be. And this feeling here is new to me because I didn't know any different. And I grew as a person, but it wasn't for you. It's something that I had to do for me. And truthfully, it's unusually hard to deny what you conjure. It's hard to let you go. It's hard to see past the relationship. It's hard to get over the relationship. And now that I've changed and I, I got nothing but time since I don't have a relationship or a girlfriend anymore, I got nothing but time to sit back and wonder if redemption's on your mind when you think about me. And that line and then the next line, I took both of those directly from two artists. Artists. That whole cadence and redemption in general is from the song Redemption by Drake off of Views. Will you sing about me? That's Kendrick Lamar's like sing about me dying of thirst off of his off of Good Kid Mad City. When the lights shut off and it's my turn to settle down, my main concern, promise that you will sing about me. So that's why I said that right there. And then the Drake one is redemption on your mind when you think about me. If redemption's on your mind when you think about me. Now that I'm no longer in your life, do you sing about me? Do you reminisce on the laughter before relationship shattered and try your best to remember the good things about me? And is it in your mind, are you capable of remembering what made you fall in love with me originally? Or did I fuck that up so bad that all you can remember is the bad things? Do you remember all the laughter and love before relationship was shattered? And do you, and do you ever think about the good things about me late to ask for a clean slate because girl the real me showing up and i know that it seems late and i know that i'm not perfect i just hope you think it's worth taking another shot on the chance to redeem fate just 
so that I, I ended up naming obviously the the song redeem fate because of that line right there so it's like is it too late to ask for a clean slate because i know we're broken i know i should have been healed myself before i met you i shouldn't have i shouldn't have tried to heal during the process but now that you've broken up with the one who replaced me and i'm single is it too late to ask to try again like for a clean slate because the real me showing up and i know that it seems late which it technically is and then obviously i'm not saying i'm perfect because nobody is I, I just hope you think it's worth taking another shot and a chance to redeem fate like it was fate for us to meet in the way that we did and i ended up crushing that so can we get a redemption like can we get can we try it once again can we try to have faith guide us in the direction that we need to go you know and i know that i'm not perfect i just hope you think it's worth taking another shot on the chance to redeem fate just understand that there was damage that i had to mend and i'm just asking for the chance to make you laugh again to be your personal sebastian or jim gaffigan and be the one that you see in your future plans again because to get to you Yo, I wanted I wanted to fit Jim Gaffigan and Sebastian Maniscalco. I wanted them like so bad to fit. I basically like took that whole four bars and I wrote it around the sound of their names because I was like Sebastian, Jim Gaffigan, like it had that hard A sound and I was like, yo, I'm a pretty humoristic dude and sarcastic. So I make a lot of people laugh. I just, I want the chance to be able to do that for you again. That's the same way that Jim Gaffigan makes his audience laugh and the same way that Sebastian Maniscalco makes his audience laugh. But also be the one that you see in your future plans again like i like i wanted a second shot at what we could have been and be the one that you see in your future plans again because to get to you i'd walk in the snow no jacket both directions and i bleed so that you could be seen with no imperfections mm. this ain't no smoke and mirrors and this ain't no misdirection this is me being who i was to you minus the indiscretions and i know yo so like that one right there you know how your parents always tell you like oh back in my day i had to walk uphill both ways to get to school like i had to there was peaks and valleys just to get to my goals and i and i suffered and i suffered through all of that and i finally got what i accomplished so because people say that that's why i said to get back to you to get to my end goal of potentially having you again i'd go through whatever i'd walk in snow both directions with no jacket and then i would bleed so that you could be seen with no imperfections like i'll take all the kind of the same sentiment of i would take a bullet for someone and then this ain't no smoke and mirrors and this ain't no misdirection like I'm not like I'm not I'm not saying these things just to say them I've truly changed I'm not I'm not trying to trick you or I'm not trying to perform black magic on you to get you like back in my possession and then fuck it all up again like this ain't no smoke and mirrors and this ain't no misdirection this is me being who I knew that I could be for you minus the indiscretions of my past because I just I, I conquered those I, I conquered those burdens I am the person you fell in love with without all the demons and the burdens that were that were burdening me so I made it past all of the indiscretions Minus the indiscretions and I know that in this message somewhere there's a hidden lesson I battled and I've been tested Given better perspective, new respect for the peaks From seeing the lows of the trenches and the scars that are on my heart I forever will be indebted because every single mark is a sign of progression I've conquered the depths and forwards the direction I step in You either grow or die, I'm back from the dead in my resurrection The hands of the clock wind no better time than the present and I know Yeah, so that whole thing, when I recorded this right here, like I, I couldn't stop because it was one take Take a breath, but normally the way I would have delivered it with, with would have been with one big breath at the beginning and all the way through until the end of the rhyme scheme it would have been like and I know that in this message somewhere there's a hidden lesson I battled and I've been tested and given better perspective new respect for the peaks from seeing the lows of the trenches and the scars that are on my heart I forever will be indebted because every single mark is a sign of progression I've conquered the depths and forwards the direction I stepped in you either grow or die I'm back from the dead at my resurrection the hands of the clock why no better time than the present like that's how it would have went but if I didn't if I wasn't out of breath because it was one take. But I know that in this message somewhere there's a hidden lesson, like regardless of we get back together or not, like the hidden lesson is that I needed to fight my demons that, that were at the beginning and give him better perspective, a newfound respect for the peaks from living through the lows of the trenches. Like I actually went down there and battled everything and, and I fought and came out on top. So once I get to the peak once again, I'll respect it even more so because I've, I know what it looks like down there in the trenches and it's not a pretty sight. And the scars that are on my heart are forever will be indebted because every single mark is a sign of progression i've conquered the depths and forwards the direction i stepped in it's like whenever you see a scar or if you have a scar like that's a that's a sign of progression like you've healed and and it's never gonna go away but it's also a good thing because you now you now have that memory of the fact that you were strong enough to get past that but also the memory of like we can't let ourselves get back down to there you know and then you either grow or die i'm back from the dead at my resurrection because like i i refused to grow originally so i died but now that i've like i've unleashed all the birds 
burdens from within myself. I'm back from the dead because I have grown. I'm back at my resurrection. And then the hands of the clock wind. I wasn't gonna say hands of the clock turn, but I needed to fit the rhyme scheme. Hand of the, hands of the clock wind, no better time than the present. Back from the dead in my resurrection. The hands of the clock wind, no better time than the present. And I know that it's hard to put your heart back in my hands, but it's gotta be faith the way that you are back in my plan. So I'ma brush my shirt and fix my pants cause I better look good, girl, if this is my chance, I swear. <laughs> All right, that last line was a Drake reference, but I know that it's hard to put your heart back in my hands. I know that I fucked it up. I know that I broke your heart, so you're not gonna be very trusting of me with it. I never planned on us speaking to each other ever again, but after the breakup of the dude who replaced me, you walked back in my life, so like, why don't we just try and redeem the fate that, that put us together the first time? Because it's fate again that you walk back in my plans. Like, you let the bird go, and if it truly loves you, it comes back. And this time, I'm gonna be ready. I'm gonna brush my shirt and fix my pants, because I better look good, girl, if this is my chance. And again, that's one more Drake reference from the So Far Gone mixtape. It's off the song, Sooner or Later, it's on the rap part. So if I pull it together, make it sooner than later, we won't be here forever, and I realize I waited too long, but please don't move on. You don't need no one else. Like that's how that goes. And again, sooner than later, the hands of the clock wind no better time than the present. Like all of that was was that was that scheme. But yo, that's it. That's basically what went through my mind. And that's the message. All that is the message that I was trying to convey within the lyrics. And everything goes a little bit deeper when you understand like the Phantom of the Opera and the burdens and all all just the different things that that symbolize the burdens and me freeing myself from them and getting to a position where I could potentially be who I thought that I could be for the person that I'm talking to. Again, some of this is over the top and embellishment for the sake of the for the sake of the verse and the song, but a lot of this is true to the core for a lot of people. A lot of people are going through this on this side, or a lot of people are on the opposite side and the girl or, or the, the love interest that this person broke their heart, you know? But yo, that's, that brings us to the end of this video. I mean, if you like what you see and you like the breakdown, consider liking it. I might end up trying to write like a verse a month just so that way we can get some kind of like you know i wasn't expecting the kind of feedback that i got from it so that's it, it, it validates me and my writing capabilities that y'all guys enjoy it but that's it like i always say follow instagram follow twitter hit up the patreon patreon saw this verse a week early normally i'm going to try to do patreon like early content a week or two in advance so that way they can get the experience of hearing it first because they're the ones that are supporting me directly there's gonna be a lot of patreon things so if you want to support me directly now that i'm full-time and basically patreon is paying me then consider checking out the patreon but that's it like i always say at the very end of my all, all my videos go out there in the world everybody love and care for one another love and care for each other and i'll catch everybody on the next video Peace.